typically don't start my videos with face to face. I just do voiceovers on this channel. I just prefer that style. But today we are going to be doing a um, collab. And so I figured that needed, you know, that might be better for a little face to face. So today we're going to be doing, um, taking part in the clutter free 2023 collab that is hosted by it's merely melissa i thought it'd be fun and it would help jumpstart my decluttering series here um so i'm not sure if i will only post these once a month like the collab or if i will post in between as well but we are starting decluttering which i've already started i just haven't recorded a video for it yet because sometimes i just get like hyper focused and that's the only thing I can focus on or if I'm in a hurry or whatever. So I have completely done the pantry. My plan is to go from the pantry, which is in there, into the rest of the house and then, you know, do the entire downstairs of my space and then go upstairs and do my space, which I really want to do my room sooner than that because it's a hot mess. But yeah, we're going to share some of that with you all. Obviously not some. And then we've got some places that's just, it's, we don't want to put that out there like I'm all for being open and honest but there's some places that even I judge myself a little bit too harshly so I ain't letting y'all judge me but anyways um today we're gonna go ahead and tackle these cabinets up here now this is they're pretty bad to be honest um it's not a space that I really typically clean out I just shove more in you know so um it's a mess like it's a mess but we're gonna get that done i know that there's gonna be a lot up there that i need to throw away because not too long ago okay maybe like a month ago um i was looking for some spices so of course that meant i had to pull some spices down because well you've seen what it looks like up there and i found a spice from 2008 yes i did and that is crazy like how has it been up there that long we didn't even move here until 2010 so i don't know if we just brought it and i just never thought I didn't go through stuff because I didn't. I don't know. But we're going to declutter this. If it's not something that I use a lot or I think I'm even going to use at all, I'm going to throw it away. I do have a bad habit of buying things and then not using them with no intention. That is something that I'm trying to do better about is only buying stuff with intention. Um, Carla McKenzie gave me that good idea to, you know, try to focus on buying things with intention. But... That's enough talking. We're gonna go ahead and get these started. I know I have to stop in between and make the husband some lunch. So hopefully, hopefully that doesn't mess with my, my drive because I'm the type of person, once I'm going, I'm good. But when I stop, I can't hardly get it back. So we're gonna go ahead and just jump in here. I hope that you enjoy this video. Make sure you check out It's Merely Melissa down below. Thank you for hosting this collaboration. And also make sure you check out the playlist down below. I'm sure there's going to be a whole bunch of inspiration and motivation and lord knows i need it so maybe you need it too but we're going to go ahead and get started all right so i figured i'd go ahead and give you a little up close shot of the disaster now it is bad i thought about not sharing it but i you know we're trying to be real around here and let people know that well there's a lot of hidden crap in some people's houses and mine just happens to be one of those so i'm going to go ahead and clean off this counter here because i knew i was going to need all the space i could get my plan is to pull everything out wipe down the cabinet and then i will go through everything throw a lot of it away and we threw a lot of it away um but throw it away put some stuff where it actually goes because there's stuff up here that doesn't belong so I got it all cleaned off and I was going to wipe it down and then I was like, oh, what's the point of that? I have to do it afterwards anyway. So I went ahead and just started unloading these cabinets down here um, and just I went on with it. I just pulled everything out and then I will clean the cabinets really well and then we'll start putting stuff back and putting it where it belongs and putting stuff in the trash. We threw a lot of stuff in the trash. So I'm not going to talk your ear off this entire time, but I do want to do just a little intro here because this is a collab, so maybe there's some new people. Uh, my name is Tony. I live in South Central Kentucky. We're in that area anyways. Don't ask me what area. We're in Kentucky nonetheless. Um, I'm a mom to four. I'm a stay-at-home mom, and I just try to enjoy life and post YouTube videos. I have this channel. I also have a different channel where I just do like vlogs, more motherhood style stuff, uh, but that's not important. We're talking about this channel. So over here on this channel, I just do all of my 
cleaning and um, getting ready to start where I currently did start adding like remodels and just painting and all of the stuff that just has to do with being a homemaker. That's what you will find over here. If you enjoy that type of content, we would love to have you as part of our YouTube family trying to grow and get this channel on the road to um, success, shall we say. So I hope that you enjoy it. Hope that you enjoy our content. If you're new here, thank you so much for being here. Leave me a comment down below. I would love to get to know you. And we're just going to jump in here, play some music, and get some work done. So either get up and get something done with me or sit back, relax, and just get some motivation, inspiration, whatever you came here for. I hope that you find it. Yeah, if you came for bagel seasoning, you'll find that here too because we have a lot of that. Um, that's one of my things. Okay, I promise we'll start music in a minute. But one of my things is I'm going to try to start buying if I stop buying if I don't need it like I think I had four maybe five things of bagel seasoning it's like what was the point of that um and it's just and it's because stuff gets pushed into the back of the cabinet and you don't know what you have so you end up buying it that is one of my goals is to stop being so reckless shall we say about buying stuff taking better care of what I do have buying with intention and all of that so hopefully this is the road to that um, I can get it clean keep it clean and the rest of the house will follow suit as well so if that's a journey you're interested on make sure you subscribe down below but I'm going to insert some music here and I'm sure I'll be back very soon to speak with you again As you can tell, I had to get a chair to reach into this top cabinet. That is part of my problems. That is a welding rod. I have no clue why that's in the cabinet. That is a knife that actually, <clears throat> that knife actually belongs to my son. It was my grandfather's and my mom got it for him um, after he passed away 10 years ago. So yeah, there's just stuff up here that shouldn't be up here and that's just how we work, especially the way my mind is. I am definitely 100% uh, out of sight, out of mind person. So, if I shove something in a cabinet, it makes me feel better, at least, you know, once that cabinet is closed. That is one thing I'm working on this year. You know, we're just working on a lot this year. I'm an all-in person. That's how I am. I'm all or nothing, and this year we're giving it all. So, I hope that, you know, at the end of the year, we can say that we done it at least a little bit. But, yeah, I mean, I'm just trying to justify why this cabinet looks so bad, y'all, because it is bad. But, like I said stuff just gets stuffed up here um you know it is what it is and that's just sometimes that's life this is my sage that is from 2008 remember that spice i was talking about at the beginning yeah this is her i must have shoved it back in the cabinet why did i do that see what i mean like why didn't i just take it straight to the trash instead of putting it in the cabinet again but it went in the trash this time i promise no more sage from 2008 it's gone
after I got them completely cleaned out, I did go in with a little bit of cleaner and sprayed them down. There was some like extracts that had poured out just a little bit and then, you know, some spices had poured out a little bit. So it was a little messy, not like super bad. Um, if you noticed in the trash, it did look like it was super dirty in there. It wasn't actually, but I mean, it was, but it wasn't super it wasn't terrible, okay? So I did go down and clean them out, go in and clean them out. Um, and I wanted to put some liner in here and I had a roll from, I think it's TJ Maxx or something because it was redone and it's really cute, but it was way too long and I would have had to cut off maybe four inches or so from the edge and I didn't want to waste it that bad for this cabinet and also didn't want to wait around and um, not do this until you know I went out and was able to buy something. My first instinct was to put down parchment paper because I actually did have some in here um, before after I poured out some honey or something. I put some parchment paper in here, but I was out of parchment paper as well. And I definitely didn't want to put foil down because I don't want metallic cabinets. So I just went in with some paper towels. It'll work for now. Who am I kidding? Who knows how long? It'll probably stay there till it falls apart. But I thought that that would help like protect the counter. I mean, the cabinet tops from you know, all the stuff that might get poured out. If honey gets poured out in there again or extracts or whatever, it'll be easier clean up because it was not easy getting that honey up the time it poured out here. So this will do for now. Whenever I clean it out again, um, maybe I will get some of the, you know, the contact paper stuff that goes down in cabinets and whatever. But for now, these paper towels are gonna work, okay? We work with what we got around here. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and start getting stuff in these cabinets. Now I'll move stuff around a little bit here and there, you know, just trying to find the right rhyme and reason for this stuff. Like I have mentioned a couple of times now, the, I'm short. I'm five foot one and a half. Um, don't forget my half. But the top cabinet is, it's, it's too high for me to really reach back into it. That was another part of my problem. I know, justifiable excuses, whatever. But of it being so messy is because it was so, you know, it's so deep back there, I couldn't see it. But um, I'm trying to, you know, open space is okay. That's something I'm trying to learn with myself. Not every space has to be filled that, you know, open space can be calm space, less mess, less stress. That's what my motto is this year. So I'm just trying to be okay with having some empty space. Um, but we're just getting everything in here. I do want the stuff that I use the most often, you know, up, up in my face more so. So you'll see as I move around the spices and stuff, I'm just trying to get stuff convenient because that's just how I like things. Certain things I like to be, you know, extra convenient. This is one of those things. So I am going to put all my spices on. When I get all my spices on, you will see that, um, well, maybe you'll see, I don't know, but I end up taking some off and just tossing them that we didn't use because I was just keeping them just in case and that is part of my problem. I will keep stuff just in case and then it just sits there since 2008 and never gets touched because I don't use sage, you know? So uh, that's something I'm working on and you'll see me work through that here. I did go through and throw away some spices we didn't use. That way it's only things that we pretty much use. It's just easier that way. That way I don't have stuff that's going to sit here for years and years and not get used and then you know I know when I'm out of stuff that I need and etc so you understand maybe if not well I'm sorry thanks for being here still I guess
This is where we keep our bread and bagels and buns and all of that stuff. But 
we got it all done um, I am going to go ahead and clean up the countertop here and then I will share the end results with you and I'm excited to share how good it looks the kids wasn't nearly as enthusiastic as I was over it but it looks good so let's get this cleaned up and then I'll share the ending And here we have it, the final product. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Make sure that you check out the playlist down below. Thank you again, Melissa, for doing this awesome collab. I cannot wait to dive deeper into decluttering. Make sure you stick around. If you are not part of our family, subscribe down below, and we will see you all next time. Bye, friends.